Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and use ng-rock on your Windows operating system. So for those of you who don't know what is ng-rock, ng-rock is a tool that provides a secure tunneling to your local development environment or server. So basically it allows you to expose your local server behind your local internet or firewall to the outside internet which makes it easier and accessible for testing or debugging. So everything will make sense when I give you a small demo of ng-rock. So basically, in simple words, if you have a local server, for example, running locally on your uh, Windows operating system and you want to uh, expose it to internet, how you can do it uh, for testing uh, and ngrock is a tool which allows you to do that. So to install ngrock, just open your favorite browser and search for ngrock. And the first link which will appear here will be from ngrock. Uh, and you can see under pricing here that ngrock is not uh, free for enterprise uh, related uh, usage, but for testing and debugging and uh, for creating your private project or non-commercial project, it's free to use. So we are going to use this free uh, version of ng-rock. So let's move to the downloads page. So I'm going to click on download link here and then I will select windows here. There are a few different ways using which you can install ng-rock. First one is this chocolatey uh, package manager then you can uh, download the zip file for uh, the ng-rock we are going to download the zip file here so i'm going to click on the download button here and you can see this zip file is downloaded so you can see this ng-rock zip file here so let me extract it by right clicking and then click on extract all and let me extract it to my c directory and i will just name my directory as ng-rock okay so in c directory i just want to create a ng-rock uh, directory so let me just extract that and once this file is extracted i'm going to go to my c directory and ng-rock and this ng-rock.exe file is there so i'm going to just click on this uh, exe file and you can see this ng-rock is working right now in order to make this ng-rock accessible from any uh, where or uh, from your command prompt i'm going to just copy this path and then uh, i'm going to set this in the environment variables right so i'm going to just type env here and you will see this uh, result which says added the system environment variables click on that the system environment variable window click on environment variable here and then i'm going to uh, go to the system variable and under system variable i can see this path click on add it here and then click on new and then paste this path here and then click on ok and then click on ok and then click on ok that means when i want to use ng-rock using command line I can do that now so i'm going to open the command prompt now and then just write ng rock here and then press enter and it gives me this kind of output about the usage of ng rock so everything is working fine now in order to use ng rock you need to add the authentication token so you can see this is the command for that so ng rock config add authentication and then you need to provide the authentication and how will you get the authentication just uh, use the sign up link here on the ngrock website and then you just need to sign up with your name email and your password so just uh, do that i already have an account so i'm going to just log into my account and once you are logged into your account under setup and installation when you will scroll down you will see uh, this command which is ngrock config add authentication and i'm going to just uh, copy this command 
So just go to your ngrock account, copy this command and then in your command prompt, just paste this. So let me just uh, paste this uh, command here. So the command is ngrock config add authentication and then your token. Let me press enter here. And once you press enter, your authentication token is saved to the configuration file and the path of that configuration file you can see here. Okay. So once ngrock uh, authentication token is provided and it's successful, we can uh, use ngrock now, right? So let me just uh, clear the terminal here. Now let's say I have an application which is a very basic Node.js server which is running on port 3000. It can be any server uh, in any language and let's say it's running on localhost port 3000. So let me open this URL in my browser and what it does is it just prints hello world. But as you can see, it's running on my localhost port 3000. So I can expose this port 3000 and then I can um, just uh, use ngrock to expose this to internet, right? And the command for this is simple, ngrock HTTP and then the port, right? So just give ngrock here and then HTTP and then port is 3000 in our case, right? Because our server is running on port 3000 here. So I want to expose the port 3000, which is for the server, which is running on my local host. Let me press enter here. And you will see that our local host port 3000 is forwarded to this URL. So now when you just copy this URL and then open it on your browser, you will see uh, this kind of interface first of all. And then when you click on visit site, you will see the same hello world. But this time this hello world is forwarded to this uh, URL and this URL you can share it with your friend or colleague and then he can test it or debug it uh, using this URL, right? You can't give this localhost 3000 URL to uh, your colleague who wants to run this application on his own computer because this is running locally. But if you expose it using ngrock on internet, then it will provide you the public URL and using that URL, you can uh, just share this URL and your colleague or friend can test it on his computer and then uh, just uh, debug it or use it, for example. And that is the main benefit of using ngrock. Not only that, ngrock can also forward TCP or UDP uh, protocols also, right? So right now we have forwarded uh, our server on HTTP, but if you uh, are running something on TCP or UDP, you can still use uh, ngrock for that purpose also. So that's a very a useful uh, tool, which uh, every developer should know how to use it. That's why I shared it. So I hope you learned something new this time and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.